Hello, this is Grant Allard with the Furman Soccer Update here at Stone Stadium on Seagraves Field as our Furman Paladins prepare to take on the College of Charleston Cougars. This game is a Gray Griffin Memorial Classic. It is dedicated to a young Paladin who tragically died in a car accident in October 2002. Gray was an amazing kid and he's described as being having, a, having an enthusiasm that is uncomparable. Gray was a national team captain for the U-17s. He came to Furman a month early and impressed everyone here, scoring in many important games and being a stalwart center back. This game is played in his honor and both teams will honor his memory by having a moment of silence before they take the fields of friendly strife. We're here today with Vaughn Bethel, one of our Furman Soccer alums, to chat a little bit about what this game means to him. You know, I think everybody has an idea of what happened back then with Greg Griffin, and uh, Greg's an awesome guy. I mean, he was, I mean, he, he was a big part of Furman Soccer. And for, you know, what happened, you know, had a, a tremendous impact in Furman Soccer, and to be able to have this Greg Griffin tournament uh, or Greg Griffin game and have a game named after him, I mean, it's something that, you know, every Furman Soccer player, you know, past, present, and future should be privileged to step foot on this field. So, I mean, I think it speaks for itself. I mean, I don't want to revisit it, but, you know, um, you know, there's a reason that it's called the Greg Griffin soccer game or Greg Griffin uh, tournament or whatever it is that, you know, past, present, and future that we go, go on and continue to call this. I mean, it has a major impact to Furman soccer, and I think it's, you know, like I said, it's, it's very, very serious when they step foot on the field, and it's a game we definitely don't want to lose every season. So, As the teams take the field, they know why they play, to instill the memory of the people we have tragically lost in a living monument of sport. The game opens with fire. Charleston had the best chance in the first half, with a shot rattling from the upright. In the 41st minute, Leach went down in the box. The referee signaled for a goal kick. The first half trickled into half time.
made lively through joy. We find joy in our experience often through others empowering us to see it. This is exactly what Gray did. second half, we pressed an attack. Bro cut through the Charleston back line and got his crosses in well. Our corners, we nearly headed. that when the clock stops it is a gift. It gives us a little bit more time to play, a little bit more time to create something great that shares the game's joy with the world. Soccer update. I'm Grant Allard, and I'm here with Michael Gandier and Eli Pinner after Furman Soccer just beat the College of Charleston 1-0 in overtime. Mr. Pinner, 
How does it feel to be the game-winning goal scorer? Uh, it feels good. It was fun. It was a good game. I enjoyed and, playing. And how many minutes of college soccer have you played up to this point? Uh, I don't know. Just that, those minutes. <laughs> I don't know how many. Four? <laughs> walk, us, walk us through your goal. Explain to us how it happened. Uh, I just turned quickly and shot, and thankfully it went in. So nothing, nothing Shot it went it. in. Yeah. That's it? That's it. And what about the celebration? Uh, I don't know. I just ran over there. My team took care of the rest of the celebration, so it was all good. All right. Michael Gandier, explain to us what this win means for our program spiritually and uh, in terms of the NCAAs. Yeah, spiritually, uh, we were playing for great today. Uh, his dad made a big trip down from, from Virginia, so um, I'm glad we got the win for him. Um, in terms of NCAA, it's a big, big win. They, they also beat Xavier, top 25 team, so to beat them is, is a big statement. I'm here with Al Griffin, Gray Griffin's father. We're fortunate to have you come back, Al. Al, explain to us why you come back to this oh, tournament. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, how can you not come back to Furman? It's a family, you know, ever since Gray got uh, hooked on Furman by Doug. It's just been part of our family. And, and we always come back to, uh, to meet the new guys and, and stay a part of uh, the Furman family and the tradition. It's just, it means a lot to us. And it, it means a lot to us that, that people here care so much about Gray and, and the memory of Gray. So, you know, you gotta come back. And explain to us, tonight obviously you talked to the team a little bit. Um, Explain to us what you can, what you said to them about Gray and, and how they were representing Gray this year. Well, one of the things that, that I remember that Gray did was um, pretty much engage people around him. And, and once, you, once you ran into Gray and you knew him, he kind of took you into his circle. And that's what you see with these guys on this team. Having, having the lunch with them today, it was so clear that they have engaged everybody on the team and they are just such a great unit. And it's, it's fun to see that and it's fun to watch and, and just fabulous to be around.